Sanjeev Saklani. I'm the managing director of A to Z Infra Services, which is into facilities management. Okay, A to Z Infra, uh, A to Z Group actually has three companies. So they are into you know EPC business, and they're into waste management, and they're into facilities management. This company was first started in 2002 by Mr. Amit Mittal, and he was the first time entrepreneur, and with no background, totally coming from an engineer, coming from you know totally. Uh, a corporate world and then getting into business as a first time I think built a huge empire for himself and in 2009 he went through the IPO route and the company really earned a lot of wealth for the entire industry and for the company so that is how it is. What were the major challenges in front of the company when it first started? Uh, see what happened was that company had huge potential in terms of manpower, in terms of leadership, in terms of deliverables, in terms of giving quality. And we took up a lot of government projects. Unfortunately, the various policies in the government, whether it is that center or the state, did not support the speed of growth that A to Z was going through. And that created little financial problems down the line when we were getting close to, you know, completing our projects. And that is where we got a little stuck. And there were various levels of clearances which we had to go through with the government. You go through one, then you say you go to the environment, then you say you go to various audits, clearances. So that became a little, you know, delayed the whole process. And that is how we ran into little problems on that score. So for entrepreneurs who are about to begin their businesses in, let's say, in this sector, what would your advice be? Oh, my, my advice to them would be that uh, we must get into uh, projects uh, where we have these clearances in place. We must speak to the concerned people, try to anticipate the various problems and challenges that you're likely to face and go to the requisite departments, ministries at appropriate level and say, well, sir, I'm investing my time, my knowledge, my competence, finance, everything. So I need your support to complete these projects in time. So it's a win-win situation for both. So I think that's a great thing that would happen. If I ask you, like in a single line, if you could just explain the underlying principle of the company, what is that one glue that holds it together? What would you say? I think one great thing is to believe in your team and leadership, which really takes you a long way because after all, end of the day, it's the people who deliver. So if the leader believes in the team and the team believes in the leader, it's always a success story. It's interesting you talked about leadership. So tell me, what are the uh, challenges of a leader, uh, leader in a team? Uh, for example, if I have to talk about myself, I'm the managing director of a company which has 16,000 people on roll. And to manage 16,000 people is a sizable number. And uh, being a pan-India company where we have presence all over the country, uh, we have very strong leadership at all levels, right up to you know the grassroots level. And so to support all this, one is the constant communication with the people, a good system and process, Having adequate use of various technology which is available today really goes a long way in keeping a tab of what's happening of the business and yet having faith in people. Mm -hmm.